All right, it's a beautiful day to be out here on the river. I'm gonna go for some artifacts. I just wanted to do my opening here. Um, gonna be sifting on several different areas here. Lots of different cultures. We'll see what I can get. I ought to come up with something later. I'm still digging for my last video. Um, same spot. If you missed my last few, I've been in dumps, digging marbles. Um, been doing this, found some nice bird points in here. Flint Ridge, one of them kind of has glows. Find a light source, but I'm moving these logs and it's all this trash and stuff. It was clear out into here. I moved some away and there's a nice layer under it. See what we get here. I just one screen, here's another flake. Look at this. All that beautiful Flint Ridge. Look at that stuff, man. Something good's gonna come out of here later. Got a cool tool. Um, finding all kinds of flint. Hold on, let me take this off. Get this. It's pretty nice. Let's see, it's right here. Look at this thing. It's got a little squared off base on it. And it's like an oval shaped blunt with a squared off base. It almost looks like a, man, that's kind of cool. And it's gonna be, yeah, you can see it's translation around the edges. That's a nice little piece. Very unique. It's almost circular. Huh. I like that. It's got some use polish up here around the top. That's nice. Later. Huh. Yeah, this is an odd find, isn't it? I don't even know what to think about that. It's got that squared off kind of base on it but is it a base it looks like it kind of flared out here and it's been sharpened into a blunt it's that greenish river cobble chert it's out of a cobble in the river that's a little tool with some kind of little scraper something like maybe they were using to skin something you could even have held that but it could have been hafted too that's kind of cool. Got more finds for you. Later. Look at all this flint I've taken out of here so far. I got a broken arrowhead here in my hand, but look at this stuff. Just tons of flint ridge. But there's another flake. But right here's a point. It's flint ridge. You can see the base. I'd say it's a t flint ridge table rock. It's real ground, but it's all exploded. That's the base right there. It's just blown up. To another piece. I'm looking. Lay down. Right, I'm heading down to where I found a bunch of that flint tempered pottery. I'll get back when I get down there and if I find anything. I'll probably get back up there where I was finding all this, where I found that scraper and all that my other points and stuff here in just a little bit. Lay down. Well, this is all different stuff down here than what I was on. This is the first screen in here where I found that pottery. And right there's another piece with crushed up chalcedony and right there's a piece of flint ridge i might find something real nice in here but i got another piece of pottery it's just a small piece but see there's another little tiny finishing flake right there i saw another tiny piece of flint ridge it was so tiny it went through my screen that i will get back this has promise later we're gonna find more of this pottery in here. Look at this. It's all like got the cordage marks on it and it's just filled with crushed up flint ridge. Look at it. That's another piece of that same pot. Um, right here too. That's a piece out of a point. It's like the center of it. You can see it's busted all up. But these screens look good. That's a piece of pottery right there. Real small piece. Take it. There's pottery everywhere in here. It's different stuff. I might find Mississippian points it's, or Hopewell stuff or Adena. I don't know. But... Alright, I'll cut a bunch of clips of this pottery because I found a handful of it. I got a few pieces here. But see all that white? That's not shell. That's crushed up Flint Ridge Chalcedony. You know, I found them stem points in there. I also found a Hopewell in there like, I don't know two weeks ago maybe two and a half weeks ago right in that time frame i look so much i lose track of even what day it is but that's flint tempered pottery indian pottery that's just a shard and here's some more 
You see the weight there. That's fun. You see it in the cross section of it too. And that's the inside. That's the outside. Here's another little piece. See it? That piece is... It's been popped in half horizontally. That's the outside. But see the flake of flint in it right there? That's the outside of the pot. This is the inside, but some of it's popped away, and you're seeing just the cross section. And look at that flint in it. All right, later. Didn't take long. I'm right in where I found that. I'll put the link up on the right at the end. On the left, I'll put a link to where I found a bunch of the pottery. This is right where I found that Ashtabula point and that Hoopwell point, like right over in there. And I got a nice one. Um, let me see here. It'll be towards the bottom of the sifter here. Do you see it? It looks like a woodland point. It's some kind of stem thing. It's nice. It's a day maker. You see it now? Should be in about the center of the screen for you. And right here's a flake. Maybe I'll find a few in here. Right here, fakes. Look at that nice little point. That's the rind of the cortex of the river cobble right there. It popped down and made a flake. It's made out of a river cobble chert out of the gravels of the Ohio River. And look, it's like chocolate and tan. Man, that's nice. Nice outline on it. That's a pretty piece. It's all there. It's just that base is a little irregular. It's just how it's made. That's a daymaker. All right. Got one. Later. All right, this is in where I was finding that flint tempered pottery. This is some kind of stem point, and it's probably late archaic to early woodland, and it might even be a Dina related. I found another one in there coming up. That's a pretty nice, nicely made point. And see, it's nice. Kind of nice material. It's a river cobble chert. It's got that white there. That's brown chocolate and gray and brown colors that's kind of nice it might even be early adena i'll have to look there a lot and get a nice cross section of the points you know 20 more you know take me a couple years probably to get 20 more like this there but it's worth going back to places and getting a cross section of the material you have a good idea of what you're finding there's a good look at it. Not bad, not bad. Later, same screen as that point. Right there's another piece of, it's it's got flint in it. Flint tempered pottery and a piece of Kashokton that's worked. And another little flake. Ah. Man, the boot traffic's bad today. Two big barges just went by at the same time. One like a Heinz furlong barge was passing another smaller barge and it just i mean the waves were just crazy there's a piece of aqua glass that's old i'll get back this looks good i'm on a hot spot i just got another point just exactly like that last one but it looks even nicer oh man folks. Two right here. you see it it's at the top of the screen clear at the top these might be Adenas. There's something Adena related. It's right here. Look at this. Oh, right. That's a beauty. That's beautiful. It's got like a clip base on it. That's purposeful. Light stem Adena. Maybe that's just nice. It even looks like our kick chipping. I'll have to look at this stuff more. But man, that's a nice piece. Another one. I'm going to get my kayak and dig here. That's a day maker too. Look at that. Looks like black and all that shirt. We'll have to see to it. We'll have to see here to it. Lightens up. But that's a really well made piece. Man. Later. You see his points lightening up a little bit. It's got that kind of stemmed base on it. It looks like black canola to me. That's a nice looking point. 
See, it's lightening up there. It's It was down in that muck. But I'd say that's late woodland. Or early, late archaic early woodland, I mean. Huh. Nice looking point. Well, anyway, later I'm up here getting my kayak to go back down there where I found them two points there. Look at all that material and pottery. You know, I've been out here a while. I stay out a long time to find this stuff. I'd say I've been out here three hours for this stuff right here. Um, but it's what you got to do. It's like any job. All right, I'm heading down there where I found them points. There's probably stuff. Well, I was finding that pottery right here. And you see why. Look at the cut bank here. It's 12 foot high. And all that stuff out of this bank right here, it's straight up and down. It's falling down and laying right here on this shore. On the base clay. It'll, the waves will go by. Barges just went by. One barge was passing another barge, a bigger one, and he was wide open. There was waves hitting clear up in there at the base of that bank. Just boom, boom. And all of that stuff gets... It's like gold in a pan. The rock settles down to the base clay. You can't see hardly any there. You can see a little bit of fly ash scattered. That stuff's light. But that all that rock goes down just like you're shaking it in a gold pan. And the beach is angled right up to the base of that bank. So it's like a sluice box for gold mining is the best way to explain it. All the stuff comes down and lays out here where it starts to kind of platform off. It lays right in pockets and I pick in the water, it, the base clay. Find the base clay with the tip of my shovel and then I'm scooping that stuff off. Just meticulously, I'm not digging, I'm picking is what I, I call it. Feeling with the shovel is an extension of my hand. Feeling the gravels and putting that stuff in my screen and you can see it works. Look at all that, all the flakes of beautiful Flint Ridge and arrowheads and pottery with flint in it just you know a scraper and all of this stuff is thousands of years old it's better than anything to me i love it just love it look at that beauty lay down i'm gonna come over here there's stuff you can see how shallow the water is i'm 20 yards offshore now the rivers it starts to drop in here and it any gets in my waist the river's much higher now. This was a little ridge above the river, looking down on the river where there was Indian camps. That's why there's so much stuff. And all the stuff, the hill's been cut in half, but since these dams make these pools like lakes, none of it floats away like, say, in a creek. It doesn't get tumbled. It just lays right where it fell out of the bank. And I'm right in the middle of an Indian encampment that multiple cultures camped on for thousands of years. I could find a paleo point in here. See, there's cracked up campfire rock. Probably cooking stuff, mussels or whatever, fish on that stuff. But I'm gonna start another video now. You know, I try to make two in a trip. If I'm staying out here all day, I'm getting my money's worth. I'll have more for you. I see a beauty in this screen. It's a Madison and it looks like it's got nice color and it's perfect. Man. So expect more. Lay that. Big coal barge going down the river. Later. Look here, I'm back from the river. Somebody just got out of the bathtub doing bathtub exercises. Tell them, squirrel buddy, you did good. You did like 15 laps. Look at him, he likes to snuggle up in his, in his beach towel. Tell him you're getting dried off and you're going to have a squirrel snack here in a minute and take a rest. He's doing good. Man, found one there at the end. Got three points there at the end real quick. And the last one's serrated. It's nicer than what I thought it was when I picked it up. So we'll start the next video with that. I'll probably get back here tomorrow. I might go dig on a dump. It depends on what the weather's like. But expect the videos to come. I have lots of time to do this now. Just be looking all the time. Mostly for airheads, but I'll do the other stuff too. I like finding the marbles. Look at this good boy, folks. Tell him you're being good today. Tell him you're being good. 
He likes the attention when he gets out of the tub. All right, fakes, lay down.